Hey everybody, this is Dan McCarthy from Bow Junkie, and I'm here with Brandon Reyes, and we wanted to talk about, uh, you guys came out with a new scope, it's called your AccuView scope. Uh, you want to give us a, a second to kind of talk about it a little bit? And... Yeah, this is the, the new Excel AccuView uh, line of scopes. Uh, we have three different sizes. Uh, you know, I think we have something that can accommodate everybody for all kinds of archery. Um, as you'll see on the, on the far side here is our AV41. Uh, this is an inch and three quarter equivalent size or uh, a size that's uh, similar to our AX41. Uh, the nice thing is it takes all the same accessories as the AV41, um, uh, as the AX41 that we've had in the past. So your ring pin, your hooded lens retainer, your lenses, your lens frames, all that's the same um, with the addition of a couple other accessories. Uh, as you see on this uh, uh, AV series of sights. We have an optional sunshade for the front. We have two uh, different types of uh, ways you can purchase this. There's a standard and then there's a plus model. Uh, when you purchase a standard model, you're just getting basically the scope housing, the level bubble, and the connection to the scope. Um, when you order the plus model, uh, you're getting like you see here. Uh, you have the scope, the scope housing. We have an areostat cover on the top that uh, has come from our uh, AccuTouch uh, uh, line of sights uh, with the AccuStat scope. Uh, it's got the adjustable rheostat cover, so you can adjust the intensity and the amount of light that hits your fiber with this cover. And I don't know if I, if I was able to show you guys that, but I'll kind of show you that here up close. That's, that's this adjustment here, correct? That's correct. Yeah, the, uh, the, the fiber, uh, is also different. Uh, the actual uh, uh, pin has remained the same, however, uh, but the cutout on the top of the scope, um, we, we have made it to where that rheostat actually, you know, serves its purpose and is able to adjust the light uh, with a large opening on the top there. And then we've also added a white reflective uh, uh, tape material. On the front. Uh, and that's uh, basically going to be on your ring pin. So, uh, the actual pin, you know, it kind of gets reflective capabilities, uh, you know, from the fiber, making the fiber brighter. Uh, and then also in turn, when it makes the, uh, the rheostat cover more effective. I like how, uh, how the bubbles actually, I I've asked for, for years to get, you know, for a bubble close to my fiber. And that's one of the first things I noticed is like bringing that up into our site picture so that it's yes. inside the ring, yep. inside your peep housing. Uh, it's a good, really good feature. Yeah, that is one of the features that's new for our uh, um, AccuView line of sc uh, scopes. We have had a, a different setup, you know, in our AX models. But yeah, this will be, uh, you know, much more appealable to shooters that want that pin real close to uh, the fiber. Uh, and I think, you know, for the most part, a lot of people are going to, you know, like that that feature to where it's close and, you know, you don't have to use a larger peep out or yeah, peep housing or aperture. And this is the AX31 size. I'll try to show you, show you a comparison. Yep, this is going to be called the AV31. Again, it's going to take all the same accessories uh, as the AX31 that we've had in the past. Same lens, uh, same hooded retainer, uh, and it also has a plus and standard model to where you can, uh, you know, get all the nice little uh, accessories that comes with it, uh, including the um, the torque indicator ring that I didn't mention on the uh, uh, the AV41. The torque uh, indicator ring is this ring on the front here that allows you to, with very little torque, uh, be able to compare the front ring to the ring that's at the center of the scope housing, or part of what we call our coplanar technology where the pin is at the same depth of that ring. Uh, it just aids in adjusting to and noticing torque, uh, you know, while you're at full draw. And uh, that's a feature that's been in our AX and now in our AV41 models as well. So that plus model comes with that torque ring indicator, uh, the rheostat cover, um, your lens frame, your lens retainer ring, uh, the uh, lens spacers, and of course your level bubble, your connection to the site, which uh, we've changed a little bit to a T connector. Uh, we had more of a Y system as a yoke connector. Uh, 
And then also included in all of the models is going to be a 1032 stainless rod uh, to accommodate those sites that are not Excel sites. Yeah, that actually mounts directly to the to a different scope housing. Yes. Okay. Yep. And then this uh, this little guy is more for like your FIDA field or or outdoor indoor you know spot dot Long shooting. Long distance shooting. Yeah, I mean that's a small. That's your 25 millimeter or 29 millimeter. It's and our AV25. Uh, the and it inside actually, is actually 25, 25 correct? Yep. yep, so it's a 29 millimeter housing. Uh, however, what you're actually being able to see through the aperture part is 25 millimeters. Uh, so it's very small, uh, a bubbles inside. So, you know, you gained a little bit, uh, you know, should you move your sight all the way down uh, the elevation rail. But uh, it's super small, super appealing to definitely uh, world archery type shooting where you're shooting 50 meters. Uh, or even redding, redding would, yeah, redding something where you could run into vein contact or something yes. where you really want a small scope. I prefer, you know, something like that personally for any long distance or even even indoor stuff or any real fine aiming stuff where right. you want your bubble close to your dot. So sure. you can it's right in your sight picture and you you notice if you're doing anything anything wrong without having to like look at your dot, look down at your bubble. It's just right. all right in your sight picture. Yep. So. Yep, and one also uh, one feature that's going to be coming on uh, you know all the scopes that I didn't mention yet uh, is the crosshair. Uh, the crosshair is something new. Uh, the AV forty uh, ones are going to be also an option for our hunting sites. So now, is it that there's a crosshair in that one? Is it this crosshair with the circle, or is it yes. actually just yep. a crosshair? Yep, that crosshair with the circle will come with all the AV forty ones, and that is uh, you know a feature or something that we have decided that we wanted to make here and include in all of them because different people have different aiming options um, so what we really found that this works great in is a ground blind or a dark situation to where your pin's going to wash out or you're not going to have uh, you know any light getting to it without using artificial light where you can't see the actual dot right. of your fiber yep. so you can still use this. this you can use to still center and you can actually still see the target beyond it Mm -hmm. So basically what you're, you know, basically what you're looking at is your target. Uh, and uh, the nice thing about that is, you know, should you, should your pin wash out, you still have that on there, uh, you know, if you want to, uh, if you want to use it. Um, those crosshairs are going to be a, a staple feature of this product and you'll be able to get it on all the models. Now, I also heard uh, you guys were potentially talking about maybe doing some different sized Yes, uh, circle be, crosshairs is that something you guys are still looking into yes we're definitely looking into it because we make this piece here in-house um, you know it's something we could do a lot of different things with this and what we're talking about doing uh, and it's not official yet is for the small scope that we are using for fine aiming or target style shooting is maybe making a couple different uh, sized dots in the center of that crosshair for like a Vegas style shoot to where you can actually cover up the center mm -hmm. and vice versa, make a, uh, you know, make it like it is currently to where there's a hole through the middle of the fi uh, the ring pin or the crosshair uh, and then make it more like a mask to where you're seeing what you want to aim at and then the rest outside of the bullseye is kind of covered up. Okay. And what's, what's availability on these? I know you guys uh, had some 41s at, yes. the, at the ASA Classic this past weekend. And when would customers be able to start ordering like the, the AV29 or the 25 and the 31? Uh, well, they can order any of them at this point. However, uh, we are shipping only the 41s right now. Uh, and I believe we're on date to release uh, the AV31s about the middle of August. So about another week, week and a half on those. And then we're looking at the tw uh, tw AV25s, the small target scope at towards the end of the month. So. And these scopes will fit on... Which, which uh, sites that you guys currently make? These scopes will fit on any of our target sites, uh, which is the AX series or the uh, Achieve model. And they will also fit on our AccuTouch series of hunting sites, uh, which is the slider site. Yep. Um, so anything that we make, it'll go on except for basically our ArmorTech pin sites. Uh, and then the other nice thing is that with that threaded rod, they can attach that threaded 1032 threaded rod to any of the scopes and it will fit any 
target site out. Yep, a anything that's outside of this. Yep. yep. Any anything that's outside this of this yoke, yoke system bracket yep, or T connector. Awesome. Well, thanks for thanks thanks for taking some time to show us this uh, new scope, Brandon. Appreciate yep. it. We'll uh, look forward to seeing what else you guys come out with. You guys are always doing some some cool stuff here at Excel and Trueball, and we appreciate it. Yep. Thanks. Thanks for the support.